This might be hands down the best entry-level microphone in the content creator podcasting space. This is the brand new Shure MV7+. Plus. I'm going to stick to those words, and I'm going to tell you why. There are a lot of microphones in this particular category, but this one stands because it is the simplest, and it sounds absolutely fan freaking Fantastic. Now, this MV7 Plus is the predecessor to the Shure MV7, which was already kind of top of the food chain. And my go-to recommendation, whenever someone said to me, hey, I want a podcast or a YouTube microphone, something that will make me sound really good in Zoom, but I don't want to spend too much, but also don't want something so cheap that it just sounds crappy. And I would always say, look at the Shure MV7. Well, the MV7 Plus has a cut your has a couple of creature comforts added that make this thing absolutely fantastic. Now, why I say this is going to be the category killer? Because it is the simplest of all the microphones in this category. This new update is basically plug and play. There's a brand new Motive Mix app, which I'll show you in a second, and you literally open that application, and then you just have your mic plugged in, and you're good to go. Select it in your recording software and off to the races you are. And I'll show you why in just a bit. But let me talk about some of the other upgrades. One of the first ones you'll notice, it's USB-C on the back. I, every, yes, we're not, we just skip over that. Everybody already knows. The old one wasn't USB-C. I love the fact that it's USB-C now. It makes things a heck of a lot easier. Now, the other thing that I really, really love about this mic, and you'll notice there, there is this live meter indicator right here. But it also doubles. And then I come back and I can talk again. It's perfectly silent. So if you're in a position and you're doing your meeting and all of a sudden you get a hack, you know, there it is. You can sneeze and you're good to go. So it's going to take some practice to get used to knowing where it is, but it's right there. And this lights here, completely customizable. If you don't like the pulsating action, you can adjust that in software. Again, I'll show you that in just a bit. So I absolutely love this. But here is some more of the killer features that it added. It has a digital popper stopper. Now, what that does is it really handles your plosives. So if I decided in the middle of one of my uh, musical Tourette's attacks to go, Peter Piper pick pepper and rum rap rhymes, like, you know, Peter Piper pick the pick of peppers, uh, the peas are not popping. You cannot pop those peas over here. It is digitally controlled, that digital popper stopper. That's the name that they called it, the digital popper stopper. And that goes a long way. It is absolutely cool. The other thing is, dead silent there is no room noise with this noise thing that they built in it is a automatic digital denoiser and check this out if i go silent not a freaking peep from the room dynamic mics are already really good at rejecting sounds but this guy goes dead silent and it's automatic nothing that you have to set you just turn it on or turn it off it's really up to you so once again if you go silent not a freaking peep. Not a peep from those little marshmallow thingies that we have left over from Easter that are probably still sitting in your house. Uh, what else do we add? We added some reverb, and I have a very tiny, tiny, tiny amount. I'm using about 3% of the uh, plate reverb right now, but I'll show you that in a second. And it has this cool thing called sound check, which just makes it so easy to set up. So let me go ahead and pop you over real quick. And I'm going to show you the Motive Mix app. So you see, I have the microphone selected here. If I press on the little gear box, these are all the settings. I have the auto gain on. This auto gain thing is fantastic. So even if I back away from the mic and continue to talk, the level is still pretty good. Like it's automatically going to make those adjustments on the fly. And so a neophyte doesn't have to worry about if they move around a lot when they're recording or doing a podcast or they get a little bit excited. Like this app is going to take care of that for you. Now I have my monitor set here where it's allowing me to listen to myself as well as listen to the volume on my Mac here. And then you have your tone. You could easily come in and select whether you want dark or you want a little something more natural or something a little bit more bright. I have a little bit of deepness in my voice. So I, I tend to use it on the dark setting. But this makes it easier than the person have to figure out how to use a compressor. So I just like to just set it to dark because welcome to the dark side. Never underestimate the power of the dark side.
You know, you know what it is. And like I said, you have your reverbs in here. So I have it down really, really low because any good sound person would tell you, you don't want to go too nuts with the reverb. But if I wanted to, I could go absolutely crazy with the studio reverb if maybe I wanted to do a special line like Sunday, 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 right? I can turn that in. Let me show you the other reverbs here from the middle. So I'll pick a plate reverb. This is a plate reverb and I'm going, hey, listen closely. Or if I wanted to attempt to sing, Pretty brown eyes. No, we won't do that. And then I have a hall reverb. And so with these things adjusted, you can just turn that intensity down to whichever one sounds nice to you. I like the studio reverb. And then when I click back over here, you see that I'm kicking at around 4%. I actually had it at closer to 3%. So I backed it off just a smidge. And I think it sounds absolutely fantastic with that. I missed. And then now here's that real-time denoiser. So if I turn this off, now you can hear a little bit more noise. Now my room is relatively silent, but in, in theory, if you have something where there's some fan noise or an HVAC, an air conditioner, a fan, maybe your neighbor's just a jerk, you can flip this on and that's gonna take care of some of that. And then of course, there is that popper stopper. Popper stopper, 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 popper stopper. <laughs> See how good I did that? Radio. You know what it is. Good radio practice. High pass filter. I have it set for 75 as you should. And then again, let me show you these LED switches up in here real quick. So right now I have it on live and these are fully customizable. So this is the default setting, seaside space. You know I went for fruity because it matches my purple lights in the background. But you can come in here and build your own custom gradients to match your show. You can do bright medium, high, or max, depending on how you want to do it. And you can set it for it's just a pulsing line or a solid line. So if I come over here and click it on the pulsing line, and then let's go back to my overhead shot here. I'll move the mic back a bit. So now you can see here, let me turn off the light. There it is. And so now we have this pulsing light when we are talking. If I want to go ahead and put that back onto the solid light, I can do that as well. And we just have a nice solid light or the one I like the most, which is the live. And again, I'll just show you a different color scheme real quick. We'll put this on the default color scheme. And it's like, how? This has been a very good day, how? Close the pod bay door, how? <laughs> that movie is a long time ago. I might forget what the words are. Anyway, I like this particular one here because it, it sort of matches my theme. But that is that, people. That is absolutely that. So we come back over here real quick, and let me put my light back on so I don't have to talk to you folks from the dark. And I will put the microphone back in the sweet spot. This is where I like it. But even if you're one of those people who insist on putting the mic 12 inches away, I'm going to stop that conversation right now, uh, it still sounds good. Like, it will automatically make those things for you. Now, let me show you one other feature of Motive Mix before I get in. Now, this is a real virtual mixer. You can drag in other sound sources if you want. I won't get into that detail right now. I'm going to keep this video short. Oopsie! This guy with the jokes about the short video. I was trying to show you a really cool feature inside the app called Soundcheck here. And what Soundcheck does is it records 5 to 10 seconds of audio and plays it back for you so that you know your mic sounds really good. So right before you jump into a recording or a podcast or a video conference call, wherever you need to sound super good, you could do a sound check, play back the audio, make sure your mic sounds nice. Well, it turns out when I was trying to show you that by actually pressing the start button here and letting you hear the playback, it didn't work because of the way I have my audio set up for this particular video recording. And yeah, it was just, it was just, just a total mess. So I'm not going to press it, but I want you to know this is here and I think Think this is really one of the killer features of this microphone again because as a new person you don't always know how to set your levels so come in here press sound check play back the sound make sure you sound good and you're good to go now back to our regularly scheduled review wrap up the mv7 plus let me give you a quick recap I love that USB here, that USB-C. It makes it so much easier to plug and play. It's just really good to go there. I love the fact that it's basically plug and play. You open the Motive Mix app, you plug in the USB-C cable, and you just go to town. Auto gain. Auto gain is going to help you out. It's going to cover your bases, and you can always click on sound check to make sure your mic sounds nice. Check one. It also has that voice isolation technology with that digital denoiser. So if I go quiet, 
it's quiet up in here. Oh my God, I love that. That works really good. Maybe your kids make a little noise, you won't even hear it. Now, you have that popper stopper, the digital popper stopper, the digital popper stopper, the digital popper stopper makes it so you, the peas don't pop whenever you need to pop a bee or pop a bee or pop some other kind of plosive. Your plosives won't pop whenever you pop those stops. And once you pop, you can't stop. That's not right. Anyway, you have that. You have that little bit of reverb built in there. And those are the basic upgrades for the Shure MV7 Plus. I am going to put this back on my top list. When anybody comes to me and they say, hey, I want a microphone. I don't want to spend as much as you did on that Shure SM7B, but I want something that sounds absolutely fantastic. And it's going to make me look good and sound good. I'm going to say get the Shure MV7 Plus. Again, Shure sent me this microphone, so thank you, Shure, for sending it to me, giving me a B, a giving me a B, giving me a chance to check it out first and run it through his paces, and I got to say I love this guy, especially when I'm traveling or I just want some quick, I need a fast setup. This is going to be my go-to guy. Now, I'm going to drop all those links and stuff in the description below because it's your availability and the pricing is going to be according to your own country, wherever you live, wherever you're good getting has got. I'm going to make sure you get that down there. That link will be in the description. And of course, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, drop those down for me below. Anything special you want me to test out, I'm absolutely happy to do it. And uh, I can't say enough about this mic. This mic is in freaking credible. I'm going to start saying bad words, and YouTube's not really going to like that. So instead, they're going to pop up a video right now that they think you should watch, and I kind of agree with them. How about that? Music